I don't know if I'm okay. I don't see the light of day. Looking up to higher ground, thinking that'll be your sweet escape. These days, gotta schedule the romance. They say that love is a slow dance. A short bike ride to the crib, using no hands. Oh shit, it feel like I'm floating, but I'm falling with both eyes closed when I let the world spin. Testing the water, she got my nurse tense. Back when I ain't even have a purpose, I was so eager to learn some things. Anxiety bring out the worst to me. Society paint me as enemy. My niggas making it by that remedy. I'm more occasional, don't do it regularly. Backs under my eyes, weighing down heavily. Mom of them worried the devil allegedly deep in the plan. Subconsciously wanted it since I was ten. I thought I was sharp on my scroll and my pen think it did. So mama found she did them ledge. She told me that's not who I am. But nowadays I put on for the fam. See you when I can. I'm surrounded by my feelings. I'm stuck on a Ferris wheel. I bet I perish with 140 acres. She wants the horse and the carriage. A portion and portion of garbage. I talk to the mirror. I know that life's not the Ferris. I lost my can. I can't pay off the bills with the blessing. I sure I relate to the Reddit page. It's feeling like money is everything. Money is everything. It's everything I need. Till I lay my eyes on you. What this is, yeah, but it feel like it's real, baby. I don't wanna pretend, no. I just wanna come clear, wanna see you again. So, guys, I'm back with Timothy. If you remember, Timothy took us through the training school. Huh? Yes, yeah, so right now we are in one of the biggest, uh, is this one of the warehouse? biggest warehouses? Warehouse, yeah. Yes, can you briefly tell us what is uh, the warehouse about? Okay, thank you very much. Yes. What happens here is that uh, after, the, after the primary and the secondary processes of coffee. Yeah. Uh, so fa primary and secondary, which are these pr uh, processes? These are processes whereby farmers will harvest their coffee yes. while in a cherry's form. Yes. And then they'll take it for their factories. Mm -hmm. with, uh, they we do pulping, sorting. Yeah, mm -hmm. Prime, uh, coffee cherry has got five layers: yes. the epic cup, meso cup, uh, endo cup, silver skin, and then a coffee bean. Yes. So there are processes that does away or removes all these pro these layers yes. until we remain with what we call a coffee bean. A coffee so bean. the primary processes only removes the epic cup, the meso cup, and then the secondary process removes the endo cup silver skin and then we, we 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 get our coffee bean that's mm. what that's where we are interested so that's oh, that is what you really uh, yeah all we want this is all about yeah it's all about yes so after primary and secondary processes yeah. coffee is taken for what we call milling milling is actually the first process in milling is what we call hulling hulling this is a mechanical removal of the uh, the parchment mm -hmm. or if you like the end cup yeah. so after getting the coffee bean yeah. Uh, and all this you do it here? No, we don't. We mm. buy coffee already graded. Oh, already yeah, graded. Yeah, already graded. Mm. Ours is just to now process and reprocess. Mm. Yes. So what we do after after the prime secondary process is whereby coffee is now graded. Yes. According to Kenyan coffee grading system, you have got seven premium grades, including E grade, which is the boldest, mm -hmm. and uh, then AA, then AB, and then uh, TT, then PB, then C, and then a T. Mm. Yeah. So the most premium is coffee? Um, unfortunately, in the coffee, yeah. as far as grading is concerned, yes. it's AA and AB. Ah. This is as far as grading is concerned. Okay. But in terms of quality, mm. what matters is how well you've taken care of your coffee from the word go mm. here in the chamber, the process until marketing. Where is that? Yeah. Mm. Uh, so after, after grading now, coffee is given what we call an ID. An ID means this is an outturn number. An outturn number is an eight character number where the first two digits implies when the coffee was taken for milling. Mm -hmm. The two digits implies who did that milling. Mm -hmm. And then as you are aware in coffee, we have two groups that grows coffee in Kenya. Uh, these are small scale farmers and then large scale farmers. Small scale farmers usually sell their coffee under societies or cooperatives whereas the large-scale farmers own estates. Mm. So the last four digits implies the ID of either the small-scale farmers who has got a society or a cooperative yeah. or the estates, oh. the owner, the estates owner. Wow, yes. that's something new for me. Yeah, so what so, I was talking about, mm. is this is what we call outturn number. Mm. You can see, this is 11CK. So this clearly says this coffee was 
the, they was taken for meaning the eleventh week of a coffee year. Mm. Yeah. CK, this is Central Kenya. Oh. Then this number can be either of um, cooperative. cooperative societies or, the or, an, or, the or the an estate owner. Mm. As far as we are concerned, you can buy coffee either through auction, mm -hmm. through bidding that is, or we can buy coffee directly. A direct sale or a single origin means yes. this coffee, this is an agreement between a farmer, a marketing ag agent and then a dealer. Because we as Domans, we have so many clients outside Kenya. Mm. So we have people who are used to coffee from a certain place. They'll mm. be specific, I want coffee from this area. Central Kenya? Uh, yeah. Or, or Western or, Kenya? Or, or, or even in Mchana where you've been. Oh, yeah, Mchana. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We want coffee from Mchana. Oh, there are people <coughs> who are that specific? Very specific. And then again, after that, you can see we have direct AA+. Mm. This means when we'll be doing our blending, this is not 100% AA. There are some other grades in it. Mm. That's why you call it AA plus. That's plus. quality. Mm. And then uh, 1289, this is chocolate number. As far as we are concerned, after we bought our coffee, we have yeah. got our own internal way of identifying our stocks. So this is chocolate number. number. And then this is grade. Mm. Grade AA. <coughs> Sorry, you can see coffee here. 2021. 20, 20, 20, and then number of bags. 25. 25. So, uh, during the auction, coffee is sold in dollars, so it's weighed in 50 kilos. Mm. Yes, it's weighed in 60. But when we buy it now, it's now measured in 60. Oh, in 60. Yeah, so this is a 60 kg bag. <coughs> mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, uh, you, mm, Domans basically <coughs> do a lot of more of export than local It's products. true. Yeah. Uh, uh, local roasting is almost like uh, 10%, I can say. 10%? Yeah, 10 to 15%. Export is 90%? Yes, 90%. And where do you export the coffee to? All over the world. All over the world? Having been uh, certified, uh, uh. we are ISO certified. So we sell coffee all over the world. Wow. Europe, Asia. Asia, everywhere. Everywhere in the world. Wow, that is yeah? amazing. Yeah. That so what amazing. happens is, after we've now we bidded the highest, we made all the payments, and then we need to also notify the coffee directorate mm -hmm. that uh, <coughs> during auction, this is what we bought. So they'll give us a movement permit, telling us your coffee is lying at a certain warehouse. This is farmers' warehouses. So shift it, shift it from there, from mm -hmm. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So you're given any <coughs> timeline yes. to move your coffee? Yes. So coffee moving, moving coffee is not something that you it just no. wake up and decide? No. That is just to ensure security? To regulate and security again. Mm. It's stipulated in, wow. a, in a moving a movement Guys, family. did you know that? <coughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. So, so that is government? This is government regulations. Mm. So you tell them this is what I purchased during the auction yes. and then they give you a movement permit. Because as, as I said earlier, coffee is purchased in samples. Mm. So after analyzing the samples, when we can go at the auction, we bid and everything. The best price. Yeah. So the highest bidder cuts the day. So after now, yeah. we brought our coffee in, as we can see now there. Yeah. So this came from the farms. Yeah. This now from so the. You, you the I, I see you have a lot of trucks that are taking to the uh, what do you call it, auction area, and <coughs> as well as from taking no, from, from from auction area. Yeah. Coffee is always in samples, not in bulk. It's always in samples. So what so you, you analyze, some small a small sample, sample. you analyze, mm. and then you go, you say now, I'll be going to buy this. So you'll meet other dealers, so you do the bidding there. So that when you bid the highest, mm. and then after bidding the highest, the marketing agent invoices you that you should make this payment. Mm. So after making the payments, he'll write you a warrant. A warrant is just a letter, now to transfer coffee from the farmer to you as a dealer. Mm -hmm. in acknowledging of the payments now. Mm -hmm. And then after there is when you go to the uh, uh, the coffee director, directorate, yes. they'll give you a movement permit. Mm -hmm. And then they'll tell you now your coffee is lying at a certain place. Yes. It's Quite up to it. you now to go and collect that coffee and bring it to your oh, warehouse. Uh, yeah. That's Antisana. Yeah. Yeah, so really uh, learned a lot, guys. Yeah. If you haven't, me, I've really, really, yeah. really learned something new. It's a different book. So how many warehouses do you have? <coughs> We have uh, this one. Oh, this is one of them. Yeah. 
and it can host someone. Uh, uh, it's hundreds of coffees, hundreds. Hundreds of thousands. Uh, hundreds of thousands, yeah. Sawa, sawa. Now processing area yes. of green coffee. You see, when we buy coffee, we are supplied with samples. We analyze the samples. Yes. Then we emit at the auction after determining what to purchase. Mm. So at the auction, we are going to buy coffees so that we know the kind of defects they're in. If the plant parts are not well set, they'll go chipping the bean. Top with what we call stinkers. Those mm. are defects in coffee. In fact, stinker is the, the most dangerous defect in coffee, a stinker. Stinker. A stinker. Very mm. much. It, it actually, no one can buy a coffee that has good a stinker. Mm. No one. So this is where we do what we call vacuum packing. After we've sent a sample to our sick clients, yes. and then the, we enter into a contract, yes. there are those who will tell us, vacuum pack my coffee. Mm -hmm. So vacuum packing is just a matter of uh, creating vacuum, then we introduce nitrogen. So you vacuum pack? We vacuum pack and then yeah. we introduce nitrogen. Nitrogen being an inert gas is yeah. central to our coffee. It's a preservative gas. Uh -huh. If, if uh, once you, when you vacuum pack your coffee, it stays longer while fresh as compared to those that are in jute bags. Uh -huh. Do you have an example? Yeah, uh, this is a jute bag. Uh -huh. You can see how it's like. Yes. Yeah, already the quality is deteriorating. Yes. But now the end product of this machine is yes. somewhere there. Oh, guys, it's like a brick. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is coffee. Yeah, and you can you can feel the weight. It's yeah, this is super 15, heavy. This is just 15 kilos. 15 kilos, guys. Yeah. Just look at that. Yeah. Wow. wow, wow, amazing, amazing. So you ship you ship it abroad. We ship we ship it uh, abroad. Yeah, and it's all over the world because we are ISO certified. Ah, yeah. So and you guys export over ninety percent of your our green coffee. Of, of your green coffee. Yes. So Kenyan Kenyan business is ten percent. Yeah, only ten. We see you everywhere. Yeah. We see Domans Kenya everywhere, but really? you can imagine, guys, it's yeah. just less than ten percent of the business. Yeah. So guys, I'm with Ken, one of the trainers here uh, who trains baristas. Eh? Yes. So baristas are the people who brew coffee. Yes, they are professionally trained experts yeah. who uh, actually know how to brew a good cup of coffee. Yeah. And can, they can also extract coffees yeah. for your cappuccinos, lattes, things you actually find at restaurants. So I was told you guys train for like a month. Yes. So the uh, cost lasts for a month. Yes. We actually charge 35,000 shillings. Yes. And then we cover everything. We cover a factory tour that yeah. is inclusive in the fee. Yes. Where we showcase you how we get our green coffees, how we process them, how we roast the coffees. Mm. We also do a little bit of uh, roasting. Yeah. And then we also have a cocktail class, a mixology class, mm. but we stick st st strictly to um, coffee beverages. And then at the end of it all, there's just a small exam because yeah. we comply with uh, the SCA curriculum. And then uh, you become a fully fledged barista. Yeah. 
nice. So can you show us what you guys do? You know, I usually buy a lot of coffee. Ah, sour, sour. Most of the time. So I don't know what usually is the process behind the coffee. So you can show us. So normally you go into any restaurant, you'll definitely find an espresso machine. Yes. And uh, the person who operates your espresso machine is definitely a barista. Yeah. So I'm going to make for you your just a good cappuccino. A uh, good cappuccino. A good cappuccino. So I'm, I'm anxious to try your yes. cappuccino, to, to test your cappuccino. A flawless one. So it's Can always good to have uh, fresh milk. Yes. Uh -huh. So there are special jugs that we use whenever, whenever you're making your cappuccinos. This mm -hmm. is what we call a steaming pitcher, a stainless steel mm -hmm. one. Uh -huh. You have your cups ready. Yes. Yeah, normally, good cups are usually hot mm. by touch, so that your cappuccino doesn't lose a lot oh. of heat. Oh, so melamine mostly. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Good. So that is like cleaning the. Yeah, cleaning the group heads. Mm. Make sure there's no coffee residue in there. Okay. Uh -huh. So we come and pull that shot. So this is which type of coffee? This is dark roasted coffee. Dark roasted, yes. Ah, it makes the best cappuccino? It makes the best cappuccinos. Wow. Uh -huh. Just look how dark it looks. So where did you put the milk? Oh, so you'll add the milk later. Yes. What is the best way to take coffee? Is it uh, with milk or without milk? Normally, brewed coffee, mm. when you take it without milk, is really, really good. Mm. But since this is extracted coffee, yes. normally with a little bit of milk, it works is really well. Okay. Ah, so, so. so, that is usually to warm it, huh? Now, this process is called frothing. Frothing. Yes, this is where you incorporate air bubbles into your milk mm. to make it uh, frothier and, as you can see, mm. yeah, smoother, creamier. Ah, yes. I just usually think it's to warm it. Uh, no, no, no. no. Ah. But it's also heated up to the yes. right temperature. Ah. So since you're making two cups, yes. Uh -huh. so we begin. This is where the magic happens. The flower. Yeah. Wow. So that is an art. So that's an art. <laughs> <laughs> so something that you just wake up and do. No, it's not something that you wake up and do, and you have to keep practicing because mm, this is what a professional mm, does. Yes. Mm. yes. Mm. So we. Uh, so so you you, you swallow. And then you make an art. Mm. Wow, that came out perfect. That came out perfect. Good. Amazing, amazing. Let me try this out. Yeah. Let me tell them the test. Yeah. So guys, I'm, I'm privileged to test for you guys. Mmm. Very soft. I can feel the acidity. I can feel the dark roasted coffee in it. Ah, good, good, good. Ah, nice. Oh, how do you taste coffee? So normally, yeah. We have um, things we call competitions that mm. we, that Atam does, the World Barista Championship, yeah. where you meant to explain your cup of coffee to the best of your ability because you've been taking that coffee for the longest time. Yeah. So an example, in this cup, uh, you are meant to taste a little bit of butterscotch in there, mm. a little bit of creaminess. Definitely it's dark roasted, so definitely feel it on your tongue really yeah. well, something strong. Uh, 
uh, yeah, that's basically that's it. That's basically it. Yeah. Um, and so you have to give an explanation of your coffee because yeah. as a good barista, you're meant to know how your coffee tastes. That, um, that way you're able to sell it to a client. Because yeah. there are different clients who expect different uh, types of the, coffees. Yeah. yeah. So, this is the training. This is on oh, this is the main training is it a class yes normally this this will we run it as a class as a class but it's sort of a technical class mm. because the first two weeks we handle with uh, we just do theory where we make students understand why we have where, why we are learning about coffee yeah. yeah why we export coffee as kenya why, why is kenya known as the uh, where why kenya is known as the best place to find coffee. find coffees yeah because mm. the coffee you get from here it's highly acidic a lot of fruity flavors which is really something which is really amazing and we also make them understand why we roast up our coffees the way we roast our coffees yeah. so, so, so i would want you to take us to the place where uh, now the capping the liquor area yeah. yes yes You can extract coffee using roasted beans, but it, take lo it takes longer. Um. So the reason why we grind coffee is to facilitate faster extraction. But you can make it with other ways? Yeah, you can use roasted beans. Uh -huh. You can soak them in hot water, but it will take... Just soaking? Yeah, it's like that. You just pour your water there, but yeah. it will take longer period mm. to extract. But once you, yes. once you grind it, the extraction yeah. is faster. Yeah. Wow. So, if I make it this way, how long do I, do I need to wait? You wait to only five, five minutes. Five minutes? Yes. To have extracted all yeah, the yes. nutrients from the coffee? The, yes. Oh. Yeah, only five minutes. And then uh, you'll, you'll have all the coffee attributes at five minutes. Mm. So, we say don't boil your coffee. The reason why we say don't boil your coffee when you boil your coffee, your coffee over extracts. So all the aroma and the flavors escapes. Oh, so you should not. You should not boil, boil your coffee. Boil. You should not boil it. You should not boil your coffee. Just put hot coffee and hot water. Yes. Grounded, uh, gr uh, Ground grounded coffee, coffee and hot and water. water. Then you cover it for a minute. So for people who are at home and maybe they're using, uh, uh, they have filter paper provision machine or brewers, yes. you should use a fine grind because definitely you cannot see through a filter paper. So mm. it tells you the kind of the kind of grind you should be using. Should you use the bigger uh, particles or medium grind as far as we are concerned, yes. it will under extract, meaning the water will pass faster. So the extraction will be mm. under extracted. Then whoever will take the coffee, it will be weak to say this coffee is weak or tasteless because you use the wrong grind and the wrong equipment. For people who have got uh, French press, percolator, uh, coffee makers, and even spray at home, they should use a medium grind. For people who have got uh, Lamazoko machines and they don't have grinders, we usually grind for them a machine grind. A machine grind is finer than fine grind. Fine grind is finer than our medium grind. So you should match your equipment and your grind in how the best coffee ever. So next is just a matter of uh, breaking, quality breaking, mm. to make sure your coffee and water infuses mm. optimally. Yeah. That. As I'm doing this, I'm also getting fragrance mm -hmm. or aroma. From the different coffee? Yes, for different coffee. So this is what, this is gome? This is gome. Gome. Gome is just an English word to, to mean something 
very, very sweet and something very lively. Mm. Yes. A, a blue mountain. A blue mountain. This is a. Um, Okay, many people tend to think that uh, our AA Blue Mountain, this is a Jamaican. It's not a Jamaican. Mm. As our grading system, as you can call, we have AA. So this is AA from Kenya. Oh. And this is our top AAs, the best quality of AA. The top AA, the AA Blue Mountain. Yes, AA Blue Mountain, mm. yes. Then you have even from Tanzania. Yeah, then we have, we have uh, Safari. This mm. is a truly sustainable, meaning the farmers who who grow this coffee that paid some premiums even before they sell their coffee. Even after we buy that coffee, we also give them some premiums. And then uh, every packet we sell, there are some premiums that goes down to them. Mm. Yeah. This because is a fair trade. It's a oh, it's fair a trade. trade, fair trade, trade item. Uh, yes. Mm. So fair trade is actually, you know, uh, it's a certification, it's a certification body. Certification in Kenya. Body, yes. We have fair trade. We have oats. Uh, we have RIFA, the Student Forest Alliance, and many others. Should you take your coffee with sugar? Uh, definitely, you should not take coffee with sugar yeah. because coffee has got its own sugar. Mm -hmm. But uh, when you milk. take with milk, maybe for espressos, but uh, you should not take coffee with milk or even sugar. Mm. Should not. For you to get the quality, the full quality of coffee, the taste of coffee, taste of coffee you should take coffee without sugar. For instance, this. There's no sugar here. Mm. Yes. So after this, yes. I'll do another process. So just a matter of uh, doing what we call skimming. No. Just skimming. No, skimming. Skimming. Oh, skimming. Okay, just skimming. This oh. And this is a technique, yeah? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that you did yes. it so flawless. Yes, this is a technique. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so nice. Yeah. Can I now get the aroma? Very nice aroma. Ah, and it's different. It's, yes, from it's what, different from yes. the other. Yes. So if there is someone who says maybe we usually pack the same quality in different packaging, so that's a lie. Totally different. different. Yes. Totally different. Yes. So. Wow. So after after this process, you must yeah. you must give it another three to four minutes yeah. for it to kind of cool down to reach a temperature where it's comfortable for you to take the coffee. Mm. You cannot take hot coffee. You must take coffee that whose temperature is between 88 and 92. Yeah, that's the optimum temperature for 88 and 92? Yes. That's the optimum temperature for you to get your coffee. Okay. So you can enjoy, you can get everything in that coffee. Or else, if mm. you take hot coffee, what you'll be doing, maybe you, you'll be trying to cool that coffee. So that's getting mm. nothing. Get, you don't yeah. get to enjoy, yeah, to enjoy the coffee, the coffee the ca that cup it. of coffee, yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh. You have to use your, your tank now. Because uh, That's uh, the only place, the only time you can tell whether coffee is meeting the standards or not, by mm. taste. Mm. Yes. These other things, maybe checking the green coffee, grading and whichever, or blending, just mm. part of the quality checks. But now the, the real quality checks you are here, test. test. To feel the acidity, yeah, the acidity, the, the aroma, the body, mm. the mouthfeel, everything. Yeah? So you must you must test this coffee and tell whether there is any differences. Mm. Yeah, we have people, and the reason why we do all those processes and even blending is for consistency and to develop aroma. So after doing all those things, we need to see whether what we did was the right thing for us to say now this coffee is ready to, qual to qualify. Yes. Uh, you said you have to wait. Yeah, it's almost. It cools off. It's just almost. Yeah. I think it's almost. So you said eight, eight past eight, eight degrees. Eight, uh, eight degrees. Eighty-eight. Yes, to ninety-two. That's an optimum temperature mm. for you to enjoy your coffee. Oh. Yeah. Initially, we have got uh, four major parts on our panel that do testing. So the first one at the tip of the tank, it tests anything sweet. In coffee, we call it acidity. 
yeah? And then behind it, it's just anything salty. So you don't have anything salty in the coffee. Mm. If you test any salt in the coffee, that's dangerous. Mm. Yes. And then next is something that is sour. Many people usually call it sour, but it's sour. Yes. And then bitter to add swallow. So when we are, we are testing our coffee, we usually have four parameters. We have what we call fragrance or aroma. Fragrance is where the sensation you get when you are grinding your coffee. That is fragrance. When you mix your coffee with water, that's what we call aroma. It's not fragrance. It changes. In that. And then the acidity. The acidity is the sharpness. The, that pleasant sparkling on your palate. That's mm. what we call acidity. And then the body is the mouthfeel, the weight. It's like water and milk. Mm. And then the flavors, these are the aftertaste. Yeah, the sensation you remain with, yeah, this coffee is just like caramel, like uh, blackcurrant, like uh, chocolate. And those are not flavors that are added? Th those are natural flavors. And this is actually as a result of soil pH. Oh. Yes. So th th those are natural flavors. So when we are doing our coffee testing, uh, first of all, you need to rinse your palate. Whoa. So this is what we call slapping. Mm -hmm. And this is the final evaluation of coffee to see whether the coffee qualifies or not. So what I'm doing is just a technique. Yeah, that, uh, and when I'm, I'm slapping it hard like that, it spreads evenly on my palate, so I can easily judge once. Mm. But for beginners, just scoop. You try it. Just scoop. Mm. That is for beginners. But for people who, are, um, who have more experienced people, we call them licorers, you have to scoop, then For gome gome, it's hard for me to spit it. Mm. So sweet, without even sugar. Can I try? Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Okay. So this yeah, one. This one is for scooping. This one is for scooping. Scooping. Then what here? Yeah. Then in your palate. <laughs> Don't want that at all, man. <laughs> <laughs> Those are techniques as I said. Eh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> to be shocked. Eh? Hey. Just scoop. That just tastes like the way you know it. Mm. So I want you to differentiate gome yeah. and uh, Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro is 100% Tanzanian coffee mm. and it tends to be mild in test. That's why we've said smooth and balanced. So in terms of acidity, the liveliness, the sharpness, you'll find that gome mm. is sharp. Fantastic. Yes, but now this one, no. So guys, I'm testing Kilimanjaro from gome. Mm. Any different? Big difference. Yes. So Tanzanian coffee tends to be less acidic mm -hmm. as compared to Kenyan coffee. Because of the soil? The soil pH. And maybe for uh, your own information, coffee was first uh, grown in Tanzania in 1863. 1863? Yes. And then first in Kenya in 1893. 30 years. Difference? Yes. Well, so Tanzania was the first people yes. to grow coffee? In, in Eastern Central Africa. But Ethiopia is grown from the bushes? Yeah, like that's... A uh, wild yes, bush. yes. Uh -huh. Ethiopia is where coffee originated. So that actually was, uh, in Africa, coffee originated from Africa. Yes. So you're telling me about Arabica? Arabica originated from Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. That was 850th century. Yeah. And then uh, Robusta from Angola, the highlands of Angola. So, so coffee is basically indigenous. Africa, it's indigenous yeah. to, Africa. to Africa. But people are meant to chase our guys and players yeah. and uh, yeah. we feel like coffee is not mm -hmm. our thing. Our Let thing, me try AA. Yeah. Eh -eh. Yes, try AA. Eh AA -eh. eh -eh has a very good name. Yeah. Blue Mountain. Mm. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> So, in terms of acidity, mm. you find that AA 
and gome they tend to this there's a slight difference in terms of acidity the sharpness but in terms of uh, body they're the same but in terms of flavors you'll find that uh, gome mm. has got um, black currant and some strawberry like flavors in so this. gome is planted from which part of kenya gome this is a single origin you can source it from anywhere in kenya so long as mm. it meets our standards you remember the single origin, the yeah. estates? Yes. Yeah, and then AA is also, when you test AA, you'll find that uh, as much as the acidity is not that sharp, mm. but the mouthfeel is medium, because this is a medium mm. rose as far as we are concerned. But in terms of flavors, you'll find some chocolate like flavors. Those are not of chocolate like flavors, but mm. the, these are not additives. These are oh. natural flavors. Natural. So when we do our blending, the reason why we do a blending is actually for consistency and also to develop the aromas mm -hmm. and when we do roasting it's where we develop the flavors wow. a lot of learning today yeah. thank you so much thank you. thank you so much is there anything we've missed uh, maybe I can decaffeinated decaffeinated so guys we have decaffeinated some of you would love coffee but you have another underlying issue and you've been told not to use coffee your place to go you know, some, some of you are not supposed to use caffeine. Caffeine yes. is what is everything for coffee. Yes. The, you, that is the, you know, gives you the kick, yeah. the addiction as well. The liveliness. The liveliness. Yeah. But uh, some of you would love to test coffee without the caffeine. Yes. Yes. So most of you do, uh, don't have uh, decaffeinated. You also have the capsule in it, right? Yeah, yeah. So I think I will wrap it up. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Uh, you've been, uh, we've learned really a lot today with you. And uh, so many of my fans have well, okay. uh, as well learned a lot. And uh, if you want to come and learn this uh, and study more about coffee, you want to study, be a coffee barista, they have a monthly uh, enrollment, training enrollment. enrollment. So you can check on their website and see when they're enrolling for the next class. So for me, I want to say thank you guys for uh, being with us throughout the day. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like. And if you want more of this content, please uh, share in the description box. Let us know where next you want us to go. So we really appreciate, we've, uh, uh, we've learned a lot today uh, in your presence. And I wish you Karibu sana. Karibu sana. Okay, uh, if you want to learn more yeah. as far as coffee is concerned, yeah. uh, definitely go to our doorman handle. You'll get all you want and even more of that. Yes. Yes. We are ever ready to share coffee knowledge. This is just a quarter or a fraction a of what we have. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah. It's a brief yeah. for you guys. So, so much good. So, Santa, Santa. Asante. Asante. Thank you. you guys don't think that uh, grounded coffee can be cooked with a sufuria so I don't know in, in Kenya we call it sufuria in your country probably call it pan I don't know mm. which other which name you use it so I'm with Kate here and uh, Kate yes Karibu she's not a, she's not a cook actually <laughs> <laughs> senior barista uh, you're senior barista <laughs> yes so you're going to show us how to uh, cook what do you call it? How, do you how to brew. How to, how to brew. brew. Yes. Hey, 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 yes. hey. How to brew the coffee. Terminologies, don't mind terminologies, <laughs> yeah. So how to brew coffee with yeah. a sufuria. Remember, most of us think that if you don't have a coffee maker, you can't enjoy coffee. So you can always be able to enjoy a good cup of coffee with uh, just ground coffee in your house using the sufuria. Mm -hmm. It's just for any normal uh, uh, a person who can be able to brew coffee. So you have your water. Okay. I have clean water here. So make sure it's fresh, clean water. Uh, bring it to boil. So I've already put on the source of heat. Yeah. So bring it to boil. So let me just explain before the water boils. Yeah. So what you do the procedure is bring it to boil. 
let it boil for 100 degrees yeah remember again we need good temperature when you're yeah. brewing coffee then switch off the source of heat and uh, put in your cups we usually say the layman's language one heap tablespoon of uh, coffee with one cup so i am making mm. two cups yeah so i'll put two heaped tablespoon so once my water boils i'll switch off the source of heat one don't is do not boil coffee yeah so why i'm switching off because i do not want the coffee to boil what happens if you boil the coffee you kill all the flavors remember we've gone to the roasting section yeah, yeah? when you're roasting there's some flavors that are that come out that are, are, are gotten after roasting so i do not want to kill them at the end cup mm -hmm. so what i will do i will uh, put the two uh, the two spoons of coffee i give it a stir and then i put a lid why i'm doing that is to enable the coffee to extract to remove all the flavors all the flavors mm -hmm. of the coffee yes and then uh, after two to three minutes just takes two to three minutes then use a normal sieve eh? so you know yeah. all of us have this in the house yeah. just a normal sieve sieve your coffee and enjoy your cup of black coffee, coffee. if you want milk on the side people because people usually ask can i put the milk inside no remember again we do not boil coffee so mm. what i will do after sieving my coffee i'll put it here then if i want milk i boil my milk on the side so you'll remove your coffee it's already brewed put in your cold milk, brew, I mean boil the milk, and then now you add and you enjoy your white coffee. That is wow. only a simple wow. way of enjoying a cup I of think, coffee uh, in the house. I think 99% of Kenya, yeah. if they do prepare coffee the same yeah. way, they do it the wrong way. Yes. Because we believe in boiling. Yes, boiling. Like, yes, yes. Yeah. and we don't. Just as much as, as long as your water has boiled, yes. switch off, put in your coffee, stir, and... Stir. and just Wait. give it two to three minutes for each to mm. extract yeah so guys you've seen how coffee is made at home so never say we never taught you so the, those who guys who boil coffee na maziwa and kahawa inside you're killing a lot of nutrients and a lot of aroma so yes. that's how coffee is made thank you so much kathy welcome for, for the insights so guys um with that I think we are going to wind up okay. the tour for the day. Okay. And yeah, guys, if you've been enlightened, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and if you want to learn about the school, please check on the Dormant website. Yes. They do monthly. Yes, monthly. monthly. Nairobi School of Coffee. Nairobi Sorry. School of Coffee. Yes, uh, thirty-five thousand monthly yeah. fees, and uh, you learn the from farm to cup. From farm to cup. Yes. Don't forget that. Aye. Okay. Peace out, guys. Thank <laughs> you.